it was in like this little tube thing that I had to take it. Um, it didn't taste like anything, surprisingly. Like, it didn't taste like poison. So, a little bit about what I've been doing. Um, should only be here for a few days, which is great. And, um, I have to wear scrubs, because... I don't want those ugly hospital gowns, so I'm like, I'll wear ugly scrubs, they're better. Um, I didn't really feel anything after. The only thing is, like, a lot of stuff tasted like metal, which is kind of disgusting, and I woke up this morning really dry mouthed, and apparently that's supposed to stay like that a while, but that's not bad at all. So, let me show you around. This is my bed. It's just like any other hospital bed um that is the door to the outside of the hospital and this thing right here that that thing that um that's like a barrier that's supposed to prevent a lot of the radiation coming from my body um from going into the hallway which is i don't know i think it's cool so I was able to bring my phone and my laptop because they're not porous and they're not going to absorb the radiation. Thank God or else. Oh my God. <sighs> Alright, so. This is that. And there's a line over there. This line right here. I can't cross that line because that is to the outside world. And I can't poison people. So, everything beyond that line, like that sink and everything, that's all the nurse's things. And all that stuff in the garbage are the suits that they have to wear when they come in here. It's kind of crazy. Um, I have TV. Like, this room is huge. It's awesome. And then these things on the floor are my red carpet. This is what I have to walk on. Because they don't want me to get radiation on the floor, if possible. Um, I'm at Unity Hospital. And... This is my view. I have two giant windows. It's awesome. Hold on, let me show you. See, one over there, one over there. So, um, everything's covered in plastic. Everything that I touch. Um, yeah, like this, these, everything. Literally everything. This is my shower that I have to take like five showers a day. That's why my hair's all wet. Um, to get me to sweat out the radiation. Um, this thing right here, this is where all my clothes go that I have to throw away. So, you see, like all my towels and stuff that I've used that has to all go in there. And what they do is um, after 80 days, they store it somewhere so it doesn't poison people. And after 80 days, that's when 10 half-lives are up of radioactive iodine, which is what is used to treat thyroid cancer for um, some cases. And um, after 10 half-lives, and the half-life is 8 days, so 80 days, it should be fine. <sighs> uh, I still have my appetite, which I guess is rare, but then again, I eat so much, so, yeah, that's, that's about it, if you guys have questions, let me know, but it's a lot less scary than I first imagined, but it is kind of lonely, so make sure you bring a cell phone, laptop, anything that'll keep you occupied, because you're here for a while, <laughs> and people don't come in. Cause they're scared <laughs> the nurses come in for maybe like 20 seconds at a time and they come in maybe like three times a day so yeah but it's almost over so